So a little different one for you today, actually. So I drove three hours each way to pick up a tub of Skylanders. Uh, this was from Sydney, so it's about three hours north. Uh, I was going to visit up the Octo Parents, uh, so it made it easier just to stop there on the way through. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go through the tub that we picked up. Uh, we're going to separate it into its different themes or its different games per se. So this is Skylanders Giants. This is actually one that I'm working on at the moment to actually uh, populate a variation listing for. We'll talk about that uh, probably in a different video and different tubs. Huge shout out to uh, Soda City Flips, Shane. Uh, sent me some stickers through for <laughs> his channel and the uh, reseller Locker Room podcast. Uh, so I've put them on the little tubs and we'll go from there. So I'll put Shane's with probably Trap Team because that's my favorite one. So what we'll do today, um, just giving you an idea, I haven't really color coordinated the crates. Is this what I got available? These are the crates that I'll probably use just to sort into the different versions or the different games, like I said before. And what I'll do is I'll actually um, pre-populate my variation listings that already exist, then put them where they belong, their forever home. Uh, this tub over here is for Skylanders Superchargers. Mm. I'll get to that in a minute. So if you do see Superchargers in the wild, uh, unless they're really highly... Um, sought after ones which we'll go into a little bit later as well or <laughs> they're dirt cheap I'd, I'd probably leave them alone tell you the truth of all my variation listings uh the ones that perform the worst is superchargers all right so what we got here as well this is swap force you can tell by the blue bottoms these are actually called swappers and what they are is actually click together magnetic uh for example uh we got i think his name's night trap uh or shadow trap or something like that they're basically put in together, I can't do it then. But there's a top and there's a corresponding bottom. Uh, occasionally you'll come across bulk lots that, <laughs> that have missing bottoms or missing tops. So what I do is I put them all in a crate and then eventually when I get the full character, I pop them in and fix up the variation listings. Um, and also here we've got our broken Skylanders. So there might be missing heads, uh, missing his little anchor bit there. Uh, this guy's missing his other punching bag. All those different things. So what I'll do is if there's any defects on the Skylanders at all, I don't sell them. So what I normally do is I actually put them in this little box. Then if I get a first time seller or, or any, sorry, a first time buyer or any buyer for that matter, I actually throw in one or two uh, broken Skylanders just to, um, and then what I'll do is I'll actually put them in a different bag so they can actually work out what they're for and not what it is. Um, but before we get into it, so basically, like I said, the easiest way to do a bulk lot is to just break them up into little bags. So what we'll do is we'll open up now. So this is um, the bulk lot that we picked up from Sydney. It was $250. It contains just over 200 Skylanders, the games, all these different things. This is Superchargers I was telling you about. Uh, Xbox Three, uh, sorry, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 games are the one you want to be looking out for, especially Trap Team. The Trap Team on PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Goes for about hundred dollars Australian, um, and also the traps. The traps probably, yeah. If you come across an Xbox One, um, you know, trap, which I'll show you a bit later, uh, for the trap team, like a dedicated trap, it comes for about hundred dollars as well. So, definitely, definitely, definitely look out for those. Superchargers, like I said, is trash. <laughs> Never actually played the game, um, but yeah. So, like I said, we'll put those aside. We'll probably just put them in the supercharger uh, bucket at the moment. So what we're looking at is actually the base color, right? So the base is red, so that means it's a trap team. I'll give them a quick glance over. So this one, you gotta be careful of his little little head there. Um, and that's pretty much the only breakable part of this gentleman here. So what I'll do is I'll slowly put him in Shane's box there. Uh, this one is called Wildfire. <laughs> and he, all comes in, he also comes in a dark variant as well, which is a black one. Uh, the ones you gotta be careful of here is, I've only seen this broken a few times out of thousands of them. Uh, probably his flame and his tail. So just got to be careful of those two components. Um, I want to say ambush, but I don't think it's ambush. But basically this one... Oh, no, it's not tough luck. So basically look at the tail, look at the little blades and all those different things, and you've got to be careful with that. So this was a more of a, a rarer character, so she'll probably go for 10 to $15 plus postage. And I will bring out the, you know, the product prices as I go along. Uh, so this is head rush. Definitely be careful of the, the horns. I have a couple actually go back to our broken box and no horns. So like I said, that uh, the characters still function, you know, obviously if they are broken on the bottom or they have like splits or I've never seen it actually, um, and I test all the characters. Uh, if there was anything, any damage to the bottom, that's where actually the chip is that reads the, 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 the character. 
Uh, so anything up here, cosmetic damage could be fine. The chip's fine. And the more rarer characters, this is not a rare character, right? Uh, but yeah, it basically gives people or kids an opportunity to play. Uh, so this is Gear Shift. So she's about $25 to $30 plus postage herself. But what I noticed is that she actually comes apart. So <laughs> she's actually broken. So her connection point there, um, what I first noticed is you can actually see her wobble a little bit. Uh, but I can't pull her apart. Oh, there we go. Uh, so she's actually fallen apart there. So I could be dodging. Just put a little drop of uh, super glue there. Where are you going? <laughs> We've got an escape. Um, I could be dodgy and put a little bit of super glue there and basically put it back together. However, but like I said, I do things by the book and uh, it would be a good present for someone that's probably a repeat buyer. Because uh, we pretty much click it together, they can fix it themselves. So this is an undead variant, you can tell by the skull, uh, trap team. Haven't really come across too many broken of this, or probably none broken of this, but I'd be probably mindful of the top of the sword there if you are looking at him. Uh, head rush again. So this one here, um, the name escapes me at the moment, but you know, basically I've seen so many of them. Basically probably 10 to $15 plus postage. Head rush is probably that five to $10 postage. Uh, this one's a Skylanders uh, Spyro's Adventure. So this is the first series, right? So this is a pirate ship. Uh, I can't remember that. It's a magic piece, which is like a little level expansion pack. Uh, so it's a green base. So we'll put it in the green tub so we, we know where we're going. I should use the red tub for the trap team. Uh, so this is Scratch, right? So Scratch is actually a very rare character. Um, I believe that she was only released in Australia. So she's swap four, so she's blue bottom. Um, this one was one of the reasons why I actually picked up the things. And if you see my Instagram story, you would have seen me. Um, I think I circled this one and a couple of other characters as well. So she's probably about 50 to $60 Australian plus post. And as soon as I put her up, she'll probably go to the States within 24 hours. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably put her over here in the in the supercharger one because she's more of a, a rarer one. These are the superchargers. So this is a stealth elf variant. Um, this, <laughs> this character in every theme is so plentiful and worth nothing. So like, all these different things. So you can tell by the little engine block that she's sitting on. Um, like I said, superchargers are really worthless and they, they double up with cars. So they've got vehicles as well. So I'm not really au fait with the price points because I don't really have that much uh, superchargers in stock because I don't really keep them or I don't keep an eye out for them. But like I said, they're always good to put up with your variation listing. So we'll put it over there. Uh, this is a Skylanders Giant, as you can tell by its orange. Uh, this is Thumpback. It's a whale with an anchor. Um, I think someone was telling me it's the second rated giant out of all of them. So um, yeah, so like I said, it's nothing special. Do have a little bit of giants at the moment. <laughs> Big tub full. Um, I'm actually working on the variation listing for them. So what I normally do is I put them in a tub like this. I photograph one of each character. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll actually put them in, the photos into a variation listing, which we will discuss in another video. Uh, I'll price them individually onto other listings to see what the market rate is, and then basically go from there. So these tubs are only holding tubs, right? So I do have an inventory system. I don't just leave them tubbed like that. <laughs> Uh, it's just basically for when I get to the variation listings, I put them in the tub, process them, and then put them where their forever home is. So this is one of my favourite ones. This is Eye Brawl. He's in the Skylanders Giants as well. Uh, used to be a fairly decent figure because uh, undead figures do tend to go a little bit more because they're a bit more rare. Uh, so basically, probably ten dollars plus post now. Uh, Slam Bam, which is another green one, uh, pretty common character. Oops, we better put him in the right bucket. <clears throat> so this is uh, countdown so basically he's a light core variant so basically his little, little flame at the top lights up uh just keep an eye out for the, for that bit there you don't want to break off um so basically he has another component uh, variant which i'll show you a bit later but we'll put him in i think we're using that one yeah we are using that one uh, so there's another one. Uh, this is Gusto. He's a trap team. He's actually one that comes with a portal. So he's he's quite um, plentiful per se. So um, yeah, he goes in there. So this is a variant of that kickoff that we just talked about earlier. This is the, um, sorry, the countdown. This is kickoff countdown. He's like a soccer ball. Um, yeah, so like I said, just different variants, different things. Don't traditionally go for too much money, but um, there it is. <clears throat> there's another Skylead to Superchargers. Put it in the bucket over there. Another one. Another vehicle. Alright, so another uh, trap team, uh, trap 
master. <laughs> Lose track of them. So basically, depending on the version that you rece you, you bought for, for Skylanders Trap Team, so I believe if you bought it for the 3DS, you got Gusto, and if you bought it for the other main consoles, you got um, this guy, which my name escapes me at the moment, so... Uh, Scarlet Ninjini, so she was basically a, a very rare variant. I've had other people reach out to me on my YouTube comments and saying that, you know, they've been looking after this character and, you know, had to do a bit of a, a chase variant. So she's a, a variant of this Ninjini here. The one on the right is the, I suppose, the common version, and the one on the left is the more sought after version. So the common one's probably 5 to $10, and Scarlet Ninjini probably starts at that 10 to $15 mark. So this is another Spyro's Adventure, the first series. So this is actually Dragon Peak. Um, so basically it's a level expansion pack. So what you would normally do to, I suppose, back today, you'd probably just go online and buy the expansion packs. But back then you just plop it on your uh, your portal like that and it would open up the uh, the expansion pack for you. So better make sure I've got it in the right box. Uh, same as the pirate ship actually. You know, so this is the one you need to look out for. Another bloody supercharger. So this is one of those ones I was telling you before with the, the bottoms. We do have one in our pile, but I know that the top bit is at the top. So what I'll do is I'll leave it to the back. So this is called Thrillipede. This is excellent Thrillipede. So here's actually the Easter variant. They did a very big on Easter and Halloween and Christmas variants uh, in the very earlier Skylanders. Uh, later they dropped Halloween, I believe. It just pretty much went with uh, springtime, which is the Easter variants and uh, in Christmas as well. So basically, if you find the normal version of this, and I'll probably hopefully remember to put up a, a picture of what the normal version is, it's probably looking about $300 for the normal version. This guy's probably $10 plus post. Uh, this is Treadhead. He's a he's more of a, a rarer Skylander trap team guy, so we'll put him in there as well. So maybe $10 to $15, not, not too sure. This is Gil Runt. He's one of the Skylander minis. Uh, so he's probably about... They used to do pretty decent, the uh, Skylander minis. They used to be probably get about $20 plus post on them. Probably dropped down to that 5 to $10 mark now. Uh, I do have a bag full of them, so I'll probably... Yeah. And, and the best time to sell Skylanders is around Christmas, right? So that's what the time I normally go. Uh, so we've got Eruptor from the normal Skylanders. So the normal Skylanders, uh, which is as far as Adventure, the green one, uh, basically, they didn't have any variants per se, like Light Core or anything like that. They did have chase figures, and I will talk a little bit about chase figures later. I've never really come across any chase figures, so they're, they're hyper rare. <laughs> so if someone was telling me years ago that chase figures were basically, there was one chase figure in every 50 boxes of Skylander, so maybe every 500 Skylanders was a chase figure, so... Very rare, very sought after, that's not one of them, but yeah, basically, if you do come across one, um, I've never seen one, so please reach out to me and I'll tell you what to do and all those different things um, and how to price it, because I, I, I don't even have them in my variation listings because they're that rare. Uh, this is Hijinx, which is basically the, the Skylander Mini of um, Jinx. <laughs> so basically, uh, Jinx is a undead Skylander, this is Hijinx. Uh, she's quite breakable, and I will show you that a bit later as well. Another Skylander giant. I want to say Sprocket. I'm not too sure. I haven't got to the Skylander variation listings. Uh, that's Heavy Duty, Heavy Duty Sprocket. Uh, that's a Swap Force. So the Swap Force are actually, obviously, you've got base characters, which are the blue ones, and also those swappable ones that I told you before, they've got Magnetic. Um, so that's a bit of a um, different thing. So that's a Grim Creeper there. So he's undead. Like I said, the, the undead ones tend to go for a little bit more money, not, not, not outrageous money. However, they're, they're pretty decent, and I do like coming across them. Another Sky, uh, Superchargers vehicle. So this is actually a variant, right? So this is called Nitro Stinger, uh, Stealth Stinger, I think it is. So basically, the normal one would be green. Uh, this is just a variant uh, to go with that other character, you know, Stealth Elf and all those different things. So... These ones may command a little bit more. Um, I tend to price them, especially superchargers, at the same price point, just to clear them out. Uh, like I said, that my slowest selling one would be definitely Spyro's Adventure, um, but superchargers, you know, crawls behind that as well. So there's not real much difference between uh, Spyro and superchargers. So if, if it's predominantly those, and I will tell you which ones to look out for uh, for the Spyro's Adventure as well. There's only about three or four characters that I get excited about. Uh, this is another another vehicle for superchargers. It's a legendary one because it's black and gold. Uh, we'll go for a little bit more as well. 
Oh, another another bottom piece, uh, another gill grunt uh, <laughs> in in one variant or another. Like I said, these this one and Stealth Elf are pretty much everywhere, so don't get too much too excited about Dino Ring for the Spyro's Adventure. Um, probably about a five dollar Skyland is probably one of the up there ones. This is Camo. He's for Spyro's Adventure as well. Pretty common character, probably that five dollar mark. Um, oh, can't remember this guy. I'm saying. Like pop ball or something along the lines of that. He's, he's escaping me at the moment. He's one of the more um, one of the more rarer characters for Spy, uh, Spyro's Adventure. So he'll probably go for that ten dollar mark, five dollars, ten dollar mark in, in Spyro's Adventure. You're not really commanding huge prices, right? So this one's Sunburn. She used to go for about twenty dollars. I think she's down to about ten dollars now. She sits for a little bit. Uh, so just be mindful is that the green base ones aren't huge money. Uh, this lot's got 200 Skylanders in it, right? So I've been throwing out five ten dollar ones as I've been showing you as I go through. So you can obviously see how much money it's going to be eventually. Um, Sonic Boom, I think I think from memory she's about five dollars. Uh, I sell her pretty quickly as well. I don't have any in stock at the moment. Uh, Drobot, a pretty common character. So basically, you want to keep an eye out for his wings. For some reason, they always get cut off or bitten off. <laughs> always see white marks on those ones. Uh, so another um, vehicle, I think it's called Hot Street. Um, this is basically the vehicle that actually comes with a base game. So if I was going to base game it up, so basically with the, the game there, and I'll probably bundle it up with a couple of characters as well, which come with it. Um, not, it's, gonna, it's not going to command huge amounts of money, right? So basically, maybe $60, $70 for the game with its characters. Um, every little bit helps. Um, but what I normally do is I normally keep a game just to test the characters because they're all backwards compatible. So if I play that Superchargers game on the Xbox One or the Series S X that I've got, um, it will play all these, uh, all these characters, right? So uh, it's backwards compatible with those. This is Dive Clops. Um, here's another supercharger. You can always tell by the engine block, right? So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, Fright Rider, which is another undead character. This is probably the weakest um, of the undeads that I, I've come across, actually. So this is for Giants. It's probably a 5 to $10 character. Um, I have seen chase variants of this guy, which is a bit more common. I believe it's probably, you know, probably in consultation with you know target or you know one of those big box stores that had a variant so he actually comes glow in the dark variant as well so he's completely probably that color um, and glows in the dark uh flame slinger uh, you probably find a million of these ones and you just need to keep an eye on that arrow tip uh, as soon as it comes out of the box you will find it will just divvy it up a little bit people don't care they just normally collect them and they all understand that so it's pretty a three dollar four dollar character um, that's Roller Brawl, uh, so basically she's another undead character, probably $10. Oops. I've lost track of where I'm going now. There we go. <laughs> I need to do all these different things. Uh, Terrafin, I think it is. Yeah, so basically he's another supercharger. There's a fairly decent amount of superchargers in this one. Uh, another swappable base. So Hothead, this is one of my favourite ones. So basically... Um, He's another giant. I think from memory his flames light up when you put him on the portal, so oop, better put him in the giants. Uh Terabyte, uh Terrafin, sorry, he's got like a little mini of Terabyte in here as well. Somewhere I'll show you him later. So he's a he's just a generic character for two or three dollars as well. Um Swarm for the Giants, so that's another giant. Crusher for giants, another giant. Jeez, we can some giants. Uh, we have Shroom Boom for Trap Team, so you keep and always keep an eye on the base, right? So that gives you an idea what it is. He's a pretty common character, so you'd be pushing, you'd be lucky to get $5 with him. Uh, Pop Fizz, which is <laughs> another giant character, keeping an eye on his ears. Um, like I was saying with Drobot, normally bite their ears off or <laughs> cut them off. There's a lot of, you know, weird kids out there, I suppose. Uh, this is another level pack for, uh, for Swap Forces. It's actually called Sheep Island. Um, I sell them pretty pretty frequently at ten to fifteen dollars plus post. So, biggest thing is to put them in a variation listing, right? Because what happens is people don't want to be paying ten dollars post one character with a variation listing. They'll add them, and it's not uncommon for me to have you know a sale for Skylanders in any particular theme about twenty Skylanders per a lot. All right. And another one, it's the names escapes me. I can see it. It's Molder Dash, I think it is, but that's another Swap Force one. Pop it in there. 
So this is the, uh, like I was saying, the shark, <laughs> he's pretty much everywhere actually. So this is the, the blue Swap Force Terrafin. Uh, torch, Giants. Pop Thorn, so he's actually quite on the lower end of the rare scale, so probably about $15 plus postage, and he'll go pretty much straight away. So it's very hard to, to keep this guy in stock. Keep an, ear out for, uh, an eye out for his ears. They're the ones you need to look for in that one. Uh, Voodoo, uh, so basically he's Squaro, another Stealth Elf, um, so basically Swap Force, make sure we get the right box. Um, another magic item, I'm not too sure what this does, so basically you pop it on the on the portal and it does something. So this is an, a Christmas variant, so this is um, a lobster, so he's a skull and a giant. I can't remember, what, a festive lobster I think it is, basically he's, you know, he should be black. Uh, the stars should be light blue and they basically got a little bit of glitter through them and obviously he's got Christmas lights through his beard. Um, that's what a Christmas variant looks like. This is Wham Shell. This is one of the characters that I look out for on Spyro's Adventure, the green base. He'll go for $25 plus post and he'll probably go instantaneous um, as soon as I get this one and I can't keep him in stock. So he always goes to Canada for some reason, so not too sure. Um... I think it's Phantom Cinder from memory. It's it's a Skylander. I've got a few of those in stock, but I put them in the right box. <laughs> um, so this one's a legendary Astro Blast, I think his name is. So he'll probably go for about ten dollars plus postage. So like I said before, it's because of the black and gold coloring. That's how you can tell um, what the variant is. Dragon Cannon for Giants. Another level pack for Spyro's, oh sorry, Swap Force, Jet Vac, Commoner's Mud, <laughs> you're not going to get much for that one. So generally, um, in like Guild Run, you, you'll probably see the characters reappearing in different forms. If they are like that, with the exception of a few, um, like this one, is, this one's um, Chemo Thorn Horn or something, uh, so basically they become less and less... Um, sought after if they basically went to replace. So another Ninjini, keep an eye on the swords. Um, I always give them a bit of a shake, the um, the giants, because I always find them a bit loose, uh, which means they're fine, but basically keep an eye out for it. Prison Break, um, Giants, uh, Scorp. This one, I've got about 100 copies of him, but he's bread and butter, this guy, right? So basically, um, I've got bags and bags of it, but this guy will actually put in lots. <laughs> so when people buy a big lot, they'll always buy Scorp. So Scorp, um, not worth huge money, but for, for some reason, for some reason he'll always go. Uh, bouncer for the Skyland Giants. The Ice Empire for Spyro's Adventure. It's another level pack. Uh, Drill Sergeant, more of a, another rarer character. So basically, probably around that ten dollar mark. Uh, we'll go pretty quickly as well. So this is Doomstone. This is one of the ones that I actually seen in the advertisement, which I didn't circle because I couldn't get it in the photo. Um, however, yeah, this probably is about a 50 to 60, $70 character by himself. He is a swappable, so you, you know, you cover the part and you can actually link him with any of the other swappables. Definitely, definitely, definitely keep an eye on this guy. Uh, Spyro. Oh, so he's got his eyes going on. <laughs> uh, lightning Rod. Pretty generic characters. This is another Christmas variant. He's done up like Santa Claus. Uh, this is basically Bumble Blast, I think it is. Um, so basically, I'm not too sure what his name is, but uh, his character yeah, is Bumble Blast. Uh, Tree Rex. This is the uh, base character for Skylanders. Giants will actually come in every lot you get, regardless if there's giants or not. This guy, I have literally 4,000 of them. <laughs> and it's annoying. Another magic piece for Skylanders, uh, Swap Force. Swap Force. Uh, oh, I can't think of his name at the moment, but he's common as mud. You'll basically have 4,000 of him before too long. Um, another Flash Wing, so basically Giants. Uh, so this is Bounce, but this is probably a legendary or a nitro version of him because of that black and golding. Um, I don't believe I've come across him before, so I'll have to do a price check on him just to see how he goes. Um, Tower of Time, I believe this is called. This is a level piece for Skylanders Swap Force. How it's got that crack across the bottom. Um, I'd probably use that as a defect. I'll actually check it out first to see if it works um, and see what it is. But it goes in the defect pile for now. Uh, 
so this is Love Potion Pop Fizz. So basically, um, he's kind of like more of a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde character. So he drinks that little potion and turns into this monster. Um, this is a Valentine's version. He's quite, probably one of the rarer characters. It's not going to be phenomenal amounts of money. Probably about $25 plus post. Another magic piece. So this is another car for Swap Force, uh, Supercharge, oh sorry, Superchargers. Um, another broken one, so his arm's missing. Should have another one of those. So you get the, in the reuse pile. So this is called Nightmare, right? This is one of the characters that I, I grabbed out and her other components are in here as well. So she comes in a, like a combo pack, which comes with a trap um, and a, basically the character in a, an expansion pack, which is called Midnight Museum. Uh, here is the trap here, so it's a little spider. Um, those three together I'll probably put as $125 plus post. So just, like I said, just pretty keep an eye on what you're looking for, so it's good to go. So this is Terabyte, this is the little mini shark I was telling you about. So he, like I said, they used to go for about $20 a piece, now float around that 5 to $10 a piece. But Skylanders is like the stock market, right? So once Christmas comes around, the prices will increase. More stock force. Uh, so this is the base variant for Countdown. So this is <laughs> coming across three variants. Remember the soccer ball and the guy I was telling you about before, his little big glow red. Uh, so that's for him. He's the base variant. Uh, Superchargers trophy. There is a trophy that's rare. Um, basically, these ones common as mud. So not worth much at all. Uh, another Swap Force Mini. I've seen her missing an entire head because there must be a little connection point issue at the, the thing so just be mindful of that blade you'll literally come across 4,000 copies of this <laughs> uh, chop chop is another undead variant um, chop chop and fright rider don't really go for that much money so like i said not really good things uh for oops make sure it's the right one um yeah the undead ones are they're probably the weaker ones zulu for swap force um, Zap for Giants, Stump Stash for Giants, Stump Smash for Giants, uh, the Nightmare Express for Trap Team, it's another level pack or expansion, uh, Funny Bone, Common as Mud, uh, Blaster Mine, this one used to go for a decent amount of money, I think it's probably around about the $20 mark now, but I remember a couple of years ago he was around that $50 mark, so the prices do fluctuate up and down all the time, definitely keep an eye on it, but I normally price mine to clear out right so i don't be holding stock for any time period of time so i've probably paid less than a dollar for all these skylanders so i'm not too concerned about you know, selling a little bit cheaper to move it on uh i small which is the uh little brother of the eye brawl that we showed you a bit earlier i'll bring it up here Whoop. there you go you can't really see uh, stealth elf again <laughs> another one so this is what swap force swappers can do. This basically these are two different swap forces and they connect with those and they create a new character. So that's what's going on there. Another supercharged vehicle, um, a legendary version of Igniter. So he's got that black and gold coloring, probably more of a, a rare variant. I don't think I've got a photo of this guy. So what the purpose of these big bulk lots as well is actually lets me uh, take photos of the guys that I haven't received as well. I haven't seen before. But I'd probably guess 14 to $15 uh, for this guy plus postage. Like I said, the earlier um, Giants and Swap uh, Spyro's Adventure are huge dollars. Uh, this is the Midnight Museum. So that's actually the other component for the, um, the three part I was telling you about earlier. So they'll go for a little bit of money. So another trophy for Superchargers. Another piece of um, Golden Pig, <laughs> which is worth for nothing. Um, a catapult for giants, a sky diamond for that. So wind up, wind up is a uh, pretty decent actually. It's more of a rarer character, um, or probably more towards the uncommon variant. Probably about ten to fifteen dollars plus postage as well, and that'll go pretty quickly. Um, but Chill, um, Chill does have a light core variant. Um, so basically if her sword is angling that way or angling up and down, I believe it's one or the other. I don't know which one this is, but we'll find out when we go to sell it. 
Uh, so trigger happy, he's pretty uh, pretty common across the thing, so he's for Spyro's adventure. If you find him on an engine block, um, like for the superchargers, he's quite rare and goes for a lot of money. Uh, that's the only version of him that does. Uh, another sheep. Uh, Hogwall for Skylanders Swap Force. Uh, Shroom Boom for Giants. Zook for Giants. Uh, food fight for trap team. Uh, chop chop for Spyro. Uh, this is uh, Trigger Snappy, so he's like a mini of the Trigger Happy that we were talking about before. I guess he's nothing spectacular. This is a legendary Slam Bam for Giant, so he should be in that light blue character which we've seen earlier. Um, so he's more of a rare variant. These pieces are really worth going. Like they're only like a dollar forty nine, dollar ninety nine, and um, people only add them to the cart to get a discount. Uh, so that's Hogwild Frino, I believe. That's for giants. He's more of a, a rarer character. Keep an eye on his horn, and that's his little mini variant there. Uh, so this is basically Royal. Oh, sorry, Double Trouble, and he also comes in two different variants as well. So that's first giants. And we've got him. <laughs> Can't remember his name at the moment. Uh, but no one. So this is Spry, which is in Spyro's mini. Uh, Zook for the Spyro's adventure. A trap, which is uh, always good to see. There's not many traps in this uh, small plot, which is unfortunate. Uh, the traps are where the big money is, right? So basically, I have sold traps before and have shown traps before. They go for about $300, $400 each. Um, Bash, Spyro. So another legendary jet vac. I'm getting towards the end now. So this is Drobit, which is Drobot's uh, mini. Uh, Hand of Fate. And we'll wrap it up soon. So basically this is Sonic Boom for Giants. It's all not very exciting. So what I will show you first before we go away. I just apologize for bringing it around. But what you want to do is you want to have a look at the trap. Um, basically where it says, and I need to clear this trap, it's basically where it says Xbox One. Um, Xbox One, Xbox 360 have traps for their respective systems, right? So you want to be keeping an eye out for those uh, those portals for Xbox One, because they tend to go for a lot more uh, than the generic ones. The generic ones are probably sell for 999 plus postage. Uh, this looks like it's a wireless one. Generally speaking, I throw the wireless ones away because they haven't got the connection point, which needs to go into the Wii. Um, and more often than not, there's so much battery acid in, in here. So generally speaking, I don't really throw those away. This is the mobile version, same thing. So basically it comes with a little controller there. Um, but normally this would be more for a collector than anything else. So basically there's a little trap port there as well and also the controller but there's always a lot of times at nine times out of ten there's a lot of battery acid in this compartment here uh rendering it useless and i don't believe that the the game is active on the like the ipads anymore uh might even be the computer version actually you might have to i'll have to double check, check into that as well so um but like I said, the, the, I very rarely come across those, but I will investigate and let you know in a future video. Uh, we're getting to the bottom of it now. So basically, this is a, a rare Skylander variant for Spyro. This is, I don't believe I've seen this one before because it's actually Dark Spyro, right? So he's actually for uh, Spyro's adventure. So we'll keep an eye out on him for price-wise just to find out. Uh, more magic pieces, which is junk. Uh, Ignite, which is that one that we showed you a bit earlier with a different coloring. That's what his base coloring is. <clears throat> a legendary stealth elf, even though she's a variant, <laughs> she probably won't be worth much. Another trap, it's our magic log. Uh, chop chop, just give an eye at the, um, the arm and the sword. He's the giants. Hex, this is the one that everyone goes on mad at me about. So basically, uh, Hex is quite often, she's missing an arm, right? So basically, she'll have, be holding a skull there. So. This is what you got to be keeping an eye out. 
put in the, in the dish for your part. But anyway, that's what we need to look out for today. Um, that's what I'm going to talk about. You basically, you can go through the characters for the top force teams. You just link them up what it'll do. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just break them down into their respective lots and put them into my variation listings. But if you do have any questions regarding Skylanders or you want to know what to do or what to, how to identify them, please reach out um, and I'll help you as much as I can. I'm always happy to talk about Skylanders. I love them. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and share. And if you, you know, want to see more content like this, uh, please consider subscribing. But anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.